Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to do a look back at the past year and talk a little bit about the inventory in the San Francisco market, which is an incredibly interesting topic based on you know everything that we went through over the over the you know the COVID time and the shelter in place time periods. Going back, um, the months of January, February of 2020, the market was off to a really great start. We were, the uh, prices were going up, there was a lot of inventory hitting the market. Then March and April hit, the inventory dropped, people were sheltering in place, sales were not occurring nearly as much. We actually saw about a 60%, uh, we went down to about a 60% level of what we normally see during that time period. And we were there for a month or two until we, the real estate market got its act together and they figured out the policies of the protocol that we could work safely during, I mean, despite shelter in place, despite COVID, um, they put in, they put it in a lot of new policies. And then the real estate market was about, was able to go back to a certain level of normalcy. Um, and that's when inventory started hitting the market in droves. And in May through the months of October, inventory was flooding the market even though uh, the marketplace in San Francisco has had some rough patches, people have been still wanting to buy and sell real estate uh, in the city. Uh, different neighborhoods have reacted in different ways and different asset classes have reacted in different ways, whether there's a condo or house or multi-unit building, that's a separate conversation. But overall, inventory has you know, really hit the market strongly over the course of the year. Then as we get into the holidays, November and December, the market, the inventory dropped dramatically. Um, and whereas now I think we're seeing it pick back up. Year over year, looking back over the past 10 years, uh, eight out of the 12 months of 2020, inventory was at a record high for that month. So that goes all the way from, um, I believe, the May May period, pretty much up until November, inventory on the market was month to month on an annual basis, high a uh, record high. Uh, it's just been an incredible time. If you've been in San Francisco as a buyer, this has been as incredible time as we have seen for a decade to be a buyer here. You have more options and opportunity. There's less competition. You're able to, if, depending on what type of property you're looking at, especially condos, you're able to negotiate more strongly and you have better positioning and leverage than you've ever had during pretty much my entire career since the first year or two since I started. It's just been such an interesting marketplace to be as a buyer. On the seller side, depending on what type of property you, you own or you're trying to sell, it has been more or less difficult. And that's, you know, been a very interesting uh, aspect of the market as well. Um, I personally love a more equilibrium process where, you know, it's a little bit more, where it's a little bit more easy to predict what's happening on both the, side, the seller side and the buyer side. Um, and we may be getting back to that over the next uh, next year as I think that demand is going to increase and so we're going to be working through some of the inventory. But the past year has definitely been very uh, supply driven. There's been high inventory. It's been a great place to be a buyer. I think we're still in that time period, though I do think it's going to change as inventory and demand changes coming up. So thanks so much for listening. and. Uh, Reach out to me if you have any questions about buying in San Francisco or any more questions about the inventory. Thanks. Bye.